So let's come to our comfortable seated position and we'll get started right away since we have a bunch of prop heavy class today. So um, it'll take us a bit to get set up. So gently close the eyes, turning the gaze in and down. Take a deep inhale all the way to the top of the lungs. And then open your mouth, slow exhale. One more deep inhale all the way to the top. Open mouth, slow exhale. Gently seal the lips. The jaw is nice and relaxed, small space in between the teeth. And then bring your awareness to your breath. You may be noticing the breath right at the tip of the nose. And keeping the eyes closed, press your palms into heart center, Anjali Mudra prayer. As we hold our hands here, take a moment to set an intention, a dedication, a prayer, a wish, or a commitment. And once you have that thought, repeat that in your head over and over. And keeping the eyes closed, rest the back of the hands on top of the knees. Start to connect index finger and thumb together, closing the circuits. We'll do our three part inhale, one part exhale. Inhale one, pause the bottom of the lungs. Inhale two, pause, middle. Inhale three, fill your lungs all the way up towards the top and hold your breath. As you hold your breath, widen your collarbones and ground down in your sit bones. Keep that as you exhale completely through the nose. Inhale one, pause. Inhale two, pause. Inhale three, fill up all the way and then hold your breath at the top. As you hold your breath, lift your sternum up towards the sky as you close the lower rib cage in. Keep that as you exhale completely through the nose. Smooth inhale for five counts. Inhale one, two, three, four, five. Hold your breath. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Inhale one, two, three, four, five, hold. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one, pause. Smooth inhale, drag the air in through the nose. Smooth exhale, let the air out through the nose. Aspirant breath, smooth inhale, breathe in. Smooth exhale, breathe out. Last time, smooth, inhale, breathe in. Gently blink the eyes open, smooth, exhale, breathe out. Good, okay, let's crisscross the shins the opposite way. If you wanna do left now in front, and then we'll start with right hand pressing left shoulder back. Okay, so try to keep a tall spine. We're pushing that shoulder back as we lean the head away from the left shoulder. Good. Let's do one more deep breath here. And then gently look down towards your right knee, keeping the right hand where it's at, dropping the chin down towards the right armpit. One more deep breath here. Good, other side. So left hand presses right shoulder back. Okay, we're gonna keep the vision straight forward and then drop the left ear away from the right shoulder while that left hand kind of pushes that right arm back. Good. And on your next exhale, gently look down towards your left knee, chin in towards your left armpit. One more deep breath here. 
Good, and then slowly come back into the midline. Shake out the neck, shake out the shoulder, and let's do three shoulder rolls forward, three shoulder rolls backwards, and just noticing how that one, that right shoulder is feeling for you. Good, it has a nice range of motion though. And then reverse it three towards the front. Good, and then once you're done, we're gonna pause in the middle and then see, see if you can reach both arms up. Kathy, if, let me know if no. I'll move my props. <laughs> you have a little moat around you. <laughs> yeah, I just wanna see how far it goes. Okay, 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 it's looking good. All right, so let's shrug the shoulders up towards our ears. Mm -hmm. And as we shrug our shoulders down, you're going to see if you could squeeze the elbows in towards the spine. Like a W and squeeze the thumbs in towards your shoulders. Yes. Inhale, reach both arms up, shrug the shoulders up in the ears. So just warming up the arms. And then see if you can grow taller in the spine, finding a little bit of space in between each vertebrae. And as you exhale, bring the elbows down, shrug the shoulders down. Good, squeezing the thumbs in towards your shoulders. Good, let's do two more like that. Inhale, lift up. Shoulders all up in the ears, lifting up and out of the waistline, like someone's pulling you up. And as you exhale, squeeze the elbows in towards your spine, squeeze the elbows in towards your shoulders, thumbs in towards your shoulders. Okay, last one, inhale, reach up. And then exhale, squeeze elbows towards spine, thumb into shoulders. It's right in, it's right there when I do that. You feel like a little strain or you feel like yeah, a little achiness. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then exhale, release the arms down by your side. So go ahead and cross. We'll inhale arms up and then cross the forearms. And then you're gonna hold onto your thighs or, or knees, whichever you can catch onto. And you're gonna pull back on the tailbone and let your head hang. And you should feel your shoulder blades widen. Okay, two more deep breaths here in the upper spine. Let your back round. Good, on your next inhalation, lift the arms up and over the head. You're gonna switch the cross of the arms and hold on to whatever you can catch, thighs, maybe knees, and then pull back. Letting the shoulder blades widen, rocking back on that sit bone, rocking back on the tailbone. Good, inhale, come all the way back up, reach both arms in the sky, exhale, twist. Opposite hand to knee, hand behind the lower spine. See if you can do a little lift in the chest and then twist through the eyeballs as well. Mm -hmm. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, twist towards the left. Opposite hand to knee. Twist to the upper spine. Try to keep the hips nice and stable. A little lift in the chest and chin. Good. Hold. Nice. So we come back into center. And then we'll grab our prop here. You're gonna get your roller and you can also put a little pillow on your roller. We're gonna bring both knees kind of like a mermaid staggered. And we'll start with the side bend towards the legs first. So we'll inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, side bend towards the left. You can hold onto your shin or the earth. You're gonna side bend, chin out of chest, long spine. You're gonna rainbow the rib cage off towards the right. Good. See if you can relax that right shoulder a little bit more down. Yep, that's it. Okay, good. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, palms into heart center. And then we're going to side bend over 
our pillow here. You can feel free if it's a little low, you can place a you can place a block underneath to make it a little higher. Okay, but all we're going to do is we're going to lay on our side, allowing our rib cage to make like a C, reaching that left arm up and over. Good. Nice. So three deep breaths here. Really open up that left side body and then chin out of chest. You can press the palms together if they touch. Good, let's do three more deep breaths here. I want you to feel your left rib cage lift off the spine. And as you exhale, feel your left rib cage come back down. One more deep breath here. And gently bring your left hand in front of your heart, press into the earth and then lift your way all the way back up. Good, okay, let's do the other side. So you're gonna sweep the legs around, get your roller or pillow set up. First, we're gonna side bend towards the legs, okay? So mermaid sit, knees are staggered, inhale, lift up. Let me scoot over, scoot over a little bit. And then exhale, side bend towards the right. So over and over the legs. Good, and watch that uh, out, uh, shoulder there, roll it down and back. Yeah. Chin out of chest the best you can, Kathy, uh-huh. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, palms into heart center and make your way onto your pillow there. So you're gonna gently lower the rib cage on top of your pillow or uh, roller there. Then reach your right arm up and over your right ear. You can press the palms together above the head if they touch. And we have four deep breaths here. All right, three more. Coming up on your last one. And then gently press the right palm in front of your heart. Lift your chest up. Good, and then remove the pillow off to the side. Bring soles of the feet together, knees wide, and we'll start with Baddha Konasana, uh, kind of like a diamond butterfly pose. I'm gonna open up the hips to help the lower back. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale, fold over. <laughs> <laughs> is this one a little weird <laughs> it, it, i'm just it's like oh i could do this 10 years ago but now <laughs> now my head is about three inches yeah no worries do you feel this in your outer hips and lower back no i feel this in my inner thighs oh okay <laughs> that's okay <laughs> let's do another three deep breaths Okay, one more. And then gently roll the spine up. And then we're gonna do a double pigeon. This one is a little complicated. So maybe get your block. It, it'll depend on each person, but block or your blanket. You may need to fold the blanket, but we're, what we're gonna try to do is stack the shin. So you're gonna lift the ankle to the opposite knee. Some, some of us will be like this. Good, okay. Now with the space between the knee and ankle, maybe a block will work, okay? Or maybe a blanket would work. Yeah, we're just filling the space in between knee and ankle. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes a pillow works. What are we going to do with that? I mean, maybe that would help me understand. Yeah, it would just, you'll start to feel your outer hip open and you'll feel it in your lower back. So I, I, it's like, what it's whatever position that you'll feel it in your hip and lower back. But if 
usual, some people will be able to go all the way down and then some will keep the props in between the knee and ankle. Okay, so I feel it in my lower back. Good, okay, so then whatever you're doing is great. Okay. <laughs> Good. And then if you need a little bit more sensation, you can fold over the legs. Yeah, and then we'll hold this one for six deep breaths. So try your best to get comfortable or as comfortable as you can get and then breathe into the lower back and hip. And then we have three more. Coming up on our last one. And then gently roll the spine up. I'm gonna lift the top knee up and off the other leg. I'm gonna come into a half V. So left leg does tree pose, right leg extends long. Go ahead and find your strap. Wrap your strap around the right ball of the foot. Mm -hmm. So right foot will have the strap, but you're holding on only with the left hand, okay? I'm going to inhale, lift up. Right hand is going to sweep back. And as you exhale, you're going to use your strap to bring your left shoulder down towards the earth. Mm -hmm. Do you feel this in your lower back, Kathy? I do. Okay, good. All right. Four more deep breaths here. Two more. And on your next one, gently roll the spine up, release the strap uh, kind of near you, but off to the side. And then we're gonna reach that left arm around and we're gonna lift up into a small back bend. Left hand is gonna go behind your bum. Right arm is gonna reach up towards the sky. You're gonna press into your left hand and hop onto your right shin and lift the pelvis up. You think so? Yep. <laughs> well, no, it's not going anywhere. There you go. Okay. And then gently lower back down. Okay. And then switch it out. So right leg does tree pose. Or sorry, uh, let's do our, gomu, our, our double pigeon. So then we'll come into stacking the shins and then grab your prop. Either place it in between your knee and ankle if you need one. And then once you find a stretch in the lower back and outer hip, and if you need a little bit more sensation, you're gonna fold over the legs. And we have six deep breaths here. Mm -hmm, good. Okay, halfway there, three more. And then last one. And gently roll the spine up. Go ahead, extend your left leg into your half V, right leg does tree pose, and then find your strap, opposite hand to foot, so this time, right hand will hold onto the strap, left arm will sweep back, and then use your strap to bring your right shoulder towards the earth. Four more deep breaths. Coming up on your last one. And then gently roll the spine up, strap off to the side, and we'll use the strap again towards the end of class. We'll come onto our right shin. So right arm is gonna sweep around, come behind the bum, 
left arm reaches up and then maybe you hop on top of your right shin so lifting the pelvis up good okay gently lower the hips down all right and then let's come into all fours palms onto the earth and go ahead and find your blanket put it underneath your knees because we'll be here to, uh, for a little while so blanket underneath the knees curl the toes under to support the knees a little bit more and then also if the blanket is not enough you can use a um, pillow and then come on to your hands and then we'll come into a strange cat to the cow so we'll push back into child's pose so knees are super wide push back into child's pose and as you inhale you're going to come all the way forward and let your hips kind of hang Mm -hmm, like a back bend, that's right. And then push all the way back into cat. Let's exhale, let your lower back stretch out. And then inhale, push all the way forward into almost like upward facing dog, back bend. Good, let's do two more like that. Exhale, push back, go at your own pace. And then inhale, rock it forward, lift your heart, back bend. Good, last one, exhale. And then inhale. Good, back bend, let your heart lift, hips hang, chin up. And then exhale, pause into cat, I mean, sorry, child's pose. And then as we pause in child's pose, start to lift your elbows off the earth as you walk your hands towards the top of the mat. So really making it an active child's pose coming onto the fingertips. So palms will be off the ground, fingertips will be on the ground, just like little spiders and then walk the hands super far forward. So you find a little space. Yeah, good, in between each vertebrae. Three deep breaths here. So really lengthen the spine. Imagine someone's pulling the hips back as someone's pulling the arms forward. Yeah, and then let this also be a shoulder stretch and arm upper arm stretch. One more deep breath here. Good, okay, so we shift forward. All right, then we're gonna go um, completely on our back. So I'm not going to go, I'm mean, sorry, on my, on your stomach, but I'm not going to go on my stomach, but you're going to go on your stomach. <laughs> and I'm just going to demonstrate this way. So you're going to bring your left hand. So pretend I'm on my stomach. You're going to bring the left hand underneath your left shoulder, and you're going to thread your right arm underneath. So you're on your belly and then left arm will reach forward. Right arm will be crossed. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that, you should feel that in the outer arm. So go ahead and make your way onto your belly. Press your left hand into the earth so you can thread that right arm through. And then let your chest kind of fall on top of that arm. Good, and you can do whatever you want with your head. If you wanna turn it to one side, if that feels good. If you wanna just place your forehead onto your mat. So we're adding a little pressure to the outside of the arm there. And we'll hold that for another three. One more. Good, now pressing your left hand into the earth, lift your chest up slightly, unravel that right arm, place your right palm down, and let's do the other side. Left arm will thread through, lowering your chest completely on top of that outer left arm, and then reach your right arm forward towards the top of the mat. Okay, good. And we have three deep breaths here. You'll feel a little pressure on the outside of the arm there. Okay, one more deep breath. Good, bring the left hand back, both arms underneath the shoulders, take your time. And then we'll push our way back into all fours. And then we'll start with some hip circles. So you're gonna reach the right leg up towards the sky, like you're stomping the sky. And then we'll draw 
big circles with the knees. So we'll do three going outward. Mm -hmm. And then we'll reverse that three going inward. Mm -hmm. Good, okay, and then we'll switch it out other side, okay? Three going outward. Yeah, find a range of motion in the hip and then three reverse going inward. Whoops, that's my hip. <laughs> <laughs> Good. All right, and then once you're done, we're gonna to return to all fours. We're gonna sway the hips from left to right. We're an outer hip stretch and a little side bend. Swaying from left to right. Maybe two more, left and right. Good, go ahead and sit on top of your um, heels here. Shake out the wrists. Shake out the wrists. Okay, and this next one, we're gonna work on balance. <laughs> so what we've kind of been doing, but just in a different pose. We're gonna work on side plank. So bringing the hands forward, reach the right toes back. And I think we've done this one together. And then curl left toes under so you have some more stability. So toes are on, mm -hmm. and then rotate that right heel down. So that hip starts to open. And then you peel the right arm in the sky. Yeah, good. Hold. Nice job, right hand down. And that's it, that wasn't too bad. Right knee in, other side. A left foot reaches back and you're gonna turn that heel down like warrior two, as if you're gonna do warrior two, turn that heel down. And then left arm reaches in the sky. Nice. Good. That's it. Left hand down. Left knee in. Good. Okay. And then we're going to come into Anjane Asana. Step your right foot around. Coming into low lunge. First, we'll come onto the hands. I mean, the hands come onto the thighs. And then make sure that the legs are nice and wide. So pedal the foot so it's nice and wide and you find some stability. And we're gonna hold opposite elbows. As you inhale, see if you can lift the elbows up and over the head. Mm -hmm. Maybe you press forward with the legs. And as you exhale, you're gonna bring it back. Let's do three more like that. Yeah, it doesn't have to be completely straight in front there. Inhale, straighten, or let go, go forward. And then exhale, push back. Nice, one more inhale. Good, and exhale. Nice, hands in, inside of the right foot. Step right knee back. Let's do the other side. Left leg steps out and around. Make sure the stance is nice and wide. Hands to the knees to begin. And then we'll hold opposite elbows. Okay, so let's switch it. So left hand, left forearm will be on top. All right, inhale, come forward. Arms up and over the head. Exhale, push back. Inhale, push forward. Good, exhale, come back. Mm -hmm. Inhale, last one. Good, exhale. Hands inside of the left foot. Step left knee back. And then sit on top of your heels. And then go ahead and find your block. You're gonna place the block behind the toes. And you can pick whichever height you like. Interlace your hands behind your lower back and we'll come into our back bend. Flip the palms down. Palms will be on top of the block. Then you're gonna lift your chest up, chin up. Squeeze shoulder blades together as you drag shoulder blades down the back. Open the heart, hearts pointing up towards the sky. Two more deep breaths. One more. Good, chin to chest. 
slowly release the interlace, place the block off to the side, walk the hands forward, and let's come into our downward facing dog. So you can move the blanket off to the side, lift the hips up, three deep breaths in downward facing dog, bicycling the legs. Good, so now we're gonna do a fancy downward facing dog. <laughs> You're gonna turn your right heel in as if you're gonna do warrior two with that right foot. So right toes are pointing out, right heel is pointing in towards midline. Okay, and you're gonna see if you can push back into the leg, maybe left heel lifts up. Mm -hmm. Good, okay, now we'll try the other side. Left heel turns in, and then left toes point out. You're gonna push back into that left leg, bending right knee, maybe right heel lifts up. Good, normal downward facing dog. And then we're gonna walk our hands backwards. So bringing the hands towards the back of the mat, bend both knees if you'd like, or you can keep them straight. And then we'll sway from left to right. Okay, releasing the lower back, sway from left to right. Good, one more deep breath here. Nice job, release the hands down. Roll the spine up. Good, I'm gonna turn this way. I'm gonna cross the left ankle behind the right. So it's a little silly, weird legs thing that we're doing here. So just crossing the legs. Yep, so you want to cross the thigh bones. I am. I have to look at you like this, I think. I don't know about I do with my glasses. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, uh, the screen is too low. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so you're just going to step one foot over the other. Okay. Yeah, so just make sure it's the right one in front. And we're going to add a little side bend. So left arm is going to reach up. And then we're going to side bend towards the right. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. And then inhale back into center. Exhale, switch it out. So now you're just going to cross left leg in front of right, crossing the legs. Left hand to left hip. So left leg is in front of right leg, and then right arm reaches up and over big rainbow. Okay, you should feel that stretch from that right shoulder all the way down the outer right hip. Mm -hmm. Okay, come back into center. Release that and then we'll come into chair pose. I want to do cat and cow from chair pose. So chair pose here, make sure the feet are nice and wide. We're going to bring our hands to our knees and we'll do cat pose like this. Exhale, cat, really round your spine and you'll feel your lower back opening. And as you exhale, you're gonna come into cow. Back bend, lift your tailbone and heart up, and then open up the throat. Good, let's do four more. Exhale, cat, really round the spine, imagining a string pulling back. And then exhale, let your tummy hang, lift your tailbone up, really open and widen the collarbones. Good, two more, exhale, cat. Inhale, cat. Make sure you don't lose the bend in the knee. Exhale, cat. Round the spine, breathe into your lower back. Exhale, cow. Make the shoulder blades touch back there, open up the collarbones. Good, inhale, straighten the legs. And let's step to the top of the mat, coming into, today we're gonna work on trikonasana triangle pose. So we'll find our blocks here. Left toes will turn out, right toes will turn in. Okay, so we want the legs one turned out, one turned in. Really rotate that right thigh bone in. Reaching the arms nice and wide. Okay, sassy hips, right hip bone goes back. Reach your left arm forward. 
not sure I'm on the right feet, but anyway. Uh, a block to the left hand. Great. Okay, now bring the block all the way down to the earth. The right arm reaches up towards the sky. Mm -hmm. Plant your left hand down onto the block. Good, now we're gonna try to do our arm circles and let me know if it, it starts to hurt your shoulder, okay? So inhale, you're gonna reach that right arm forward. Or yeah, right arm, yeah. Go all, and then sweep it all the way back down. Mm -hmm. Let's do two more. Exhale. And inhale. Nice job. Exhale. That's where it doesn't want to rotate like it's normal. Yeah, that's okay. Inhale. Good, good, okay. And then slight bend in left knee. I'm gonna lift all the way back up. Nice job. Okay, I, I felt I from just from my vision, but probably you feel it inside. It, it looked fine to me. The range of motion was great. Uh, all right. So sometimes just warming it up might just let that tension kind of release a little bit. Okay, okay. let's switch the other other foot. So we're gonna turn the left toes in now. Block is on the right hand and you're gonna turn the right toes out. I'm gonna do it this way so I can see you. Yeah, and then block down toward your right foot. Left arm reaches in the sky. Good, good. Mm hmm Okay. Now see if you can bring the block closer towards the foot, to the inner arch. Great. Now see if you can lay your heart back towards the bookcase. Yeah, good. Okay, let's add the arm circles. Reaching the arm up and over the ear, making big, large circles. Mm-hmm. And we got two more like that. Make sure you're breathing in and out. Okay, one more. Nice. Slight bend in right knee. Lift all the way up. Good, okay. Now go ahead and find both blocks. Both blocks. We're gonna use this in a bit, but first we'll start off with goddess pose. So go ahead and place your blocks right underneath your shoulders here, and you're gonna come into a wide-legged stance. So come into goddess pose. The only difference is we're gonna turn the toes out, knees turn out, and then we'll sit down into goddess pose and we'll sway from left to right. Okay, sway from left to right. Good. Now we'll just work on a little bit of the arms. See if you can lift the chest up. Bring the palms to face up. Elbows are bent. Good. Lower tummy zipped in just like we worked on last class. And as you exhale, you're going to flip the palms down. Yeah, but keep the elbows bent. Yeah, that right one is good. Inhale, lift up. Good. Let's do five more of that. <laughs> Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. So this is a little arm strength. Inhale up. Or this is a two form. We also get leg strength. Exhale down. Inhale up. Two more. Exhale down. Inhale up. Last one. Exhale down. So really working that shoulder. Mm -hmm. Inhale up. Good. Straighten the legs and then shake it out. Shake it out and then we'll, we'll turn into goddess pose to get the lower back. So bend the knees, hands will come to your blocks and you're gonna fold in between the legs with the thighs rotated outwards. Mm -hmm. Yep, use the blocks to stabilize. If you don't feel the stretch, you can drop it down a level lower. One more deep breath here. Actually, let's do two more. And then gently roll the spine up. Straighten the legs. Roll the shoulders out. And you have one more, one more arm exercise, okay? 
Go ahead and bend the knees, goddess pose again. So we're getting a two for one, get the thighs to work. Reach the arms out wide. And then this time we're doing it with straight arms. Lower belly zipped in, you're gonna point the thumbs down. Good, and then inhale, lift the thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, two more. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up. Now exhale down, keep the thumb down, long tall spine, zip up lower tummy, and we're gonna pulse it back. Exhale back, back, back. So yeah, mm -hmm. see if you can face those palms towards the bookcase. Yeah, good. Okay, if the arms start to distract you, you start to pay attention to the legs. You bend the legs a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh, that one kind of, but yeah. Good, okay, we'll let that one go. Shake it out. Roll the shoulders. This time we're gonna turn the toes in. So no more goddess toes. You're gonna turn the toes in. Heels will turn out. And then we're gonna stretch out the shoulders. So coming into a weird downward facing dog with our blocks. So toes will turn in, you're gonna walk the blocks forward. I think we've done this one before. And you're gonna let your heart fall towards the earth. So downward facing dog with wide legs on the blocks. Yeah, good. Try to press the weight into the heels the best you can. One more deep breath here. And then gently shift the shoulders forward. Walk the blocks back, heel toe, the toes closer together, but still a little wide, bend the knees, leave the blocks where they're at, roll the shoulders up. Nice, okay. And then we're gonna, we're gonna make it down to Malasana. So go ahead and find your block. We're gonna sit on top of the block here, toes will turn out, we're gonna squat all the way down. So depending on what, uh, level you want, you can go to the highest setting, but you're going to squat all the way down to your block here. Yeah, sometimes going to the highest setting is easier. It, it feels better. Okay, good. All right, last lower back thing. I'm going to walk the hands forward. You can also use your block and fold in between the legs. Yeah, good. Two more deep breaths here. And then gently bring the spine upright. And then you can use your blocks, you can press into the blocks and you're gonna lower all the way down to your knees. Coming down to the knees, go ahead and move the, the other one that was underneath your butt off to the side. And then we're gonna make our, our way onto our back. Okay, so now when we come on our back, we'll start with supported bridge. So we'll use our block. So first you're gonna lie down and lie all the way down. Soles of the feet onto the earth. Then you're gonna lift your bum up, place the block right underneath your lower back. So right above your butt. And then you can bring the hands to your mat, or you can fold onto the sides, the edges of the mat. And I'm gonna be here for a while. All right, so really letting your sacrum fall into your block. And we'll do two more, just like vanilla supported bridge, and then we're gonna add some legs into it. Okay, now shimmy your left foot towards the middle, then bring your right knee in towards your body. Okay, if it's okay for you, you can let go of the back and hook onto the right knee, squeezing the right knee in towards your chest. Good. One more deep breath on the right side. 
and then switch it out. Right foot will be in the middle and then hug left knee in towards the chest. Mm -hmm. Good. One more deep breath. Good, slowly release the left foot down, hands by your side. You can hold onto the mat, but now we're gonna lift both knees up. So lift both knees up towards the chest. And then we're gonna do knee circles. So go ahead and hold on to the floor, uh, Kathy. We're gonna need some range uh, to, to move the knees. So now you're gonna move the knees in a circular motion. You can do both knees clockwise, both knees counterclockwise, or some people like the knees to go in opposite circles. So you're gonna do whichever <laughs> one that's gonna feel good to your back. Uh-huh. And if you need to do left side, start to do left side. Good. Now pausing in the middle, we're going to slowly extend one leg at a time up in the sky. So this is going to be our version of handstand. So letting the toes, legs go all the way up in the sky. Good. And we have three deep breaths here. Maybe wiggle the toes if you'd like. You can also circle the ankles. And make sure if you're circling the ankles, you're gonna do the reverse of that. Good, and then one foot at a time, gently lower the legs back onto the earth. Good, lift your pelvis up. Remove the block from underneath the sacrum. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna bring the feet super wide, super wide, maybe even a lot bigger than hip distance apart, and then reach the arms out into a T, and then we're gonna come into a twist. Okay, so both knees are gonna go to the right. So your knees will be staggered. Okay, so one knee, so they shouldn't be on top of one another, it'll be nice and wide, so one knee might touch the earth. And on your next inhalation, come back into center. Knock both knees towards the left. Uh-huh, good. Slowly come back into center. And then we'll top class off with a little core exercise. Okay, so go ahead and find your block again. Bring your shins parallel to the earth so both feet are off the earth. Bring your block in front of the knees. Press your palms into the block and you're going to press your block in between knees and palms. So go ahead and place the palms on top of the block. Mm hmm And then free the fingers, Kathy. Yes, good. Now, chin to chest, lifting the head up, and energetically press the knees and palms against each other. Hold for three. Hold for two. Hold for one. Good. Relax. Lower the feet down. You can just rest the arms down by your side. Did you feel that in your core a little bit? In my neck. In your neck, okay. Let's try that again, but no neck this time. Go ahead and bring the knees up. I mean, shins up and then knees and palms and block will press against each other. Good, and see if you can lengthen your lower back so there's no mouse hole between the mat and lower back and then press into the block. Thank you. Do you feel that in your core? Yeah. Good. Okay, hold for three, hold for two, press hard for one, and then let that go. Nice job. 
Reach your arms towards the back of the mat, toes towards the front. Make your body as long as possible, like a good morning stretch. Good, gently roll to one side. Lift your body up, and then we'll come onto our roller or our pillow. And then we'll do our last shoulder exercise. So go ahead and lay on top of your pillow or your roller. The first one will be our almonds, okay? So you're gonna inhale, reach your arms up and over the head, draw the top of the almond. And then as you exhale, you're gonna draw the fingers down towards the hips, going towards the bottom of the almond. Okay, AKA- I have, I have a question. Yeah? I have a, I have a firm roller. And so where, and it's one of those longer ones. So now where is the bottom of the roller supposed to be? Mm, let me, can I see how long it is? Is it, is it, oh, it's pretty long. Yeah, okay. Oh. Yeah, so yeah, the, the foam roller should hit kind of where your sacrum is, right above your bum. So your bum will stay on the floor, but your back is kind of up and overarching your roller. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, it don't want to do that. I think I should put a block under my bottom. Yeah, is, is it a little too hard? Doesn't have much give, right? No give at all. Yeah, okay. Or you can just do a pillow. Anything that has a little lift, or you can roll a blanket underneath your spine, which whichever one is going to um, still kind of feel not so... Maybe the roller might be hard. How about like this? Okay, does that feel okay for your back? Yeah, that feels okay. Okay, good. Okay, go ahead and sweep the arms up and over the head. So like snow angels. Mm -hmm. Good, and it doesn't have to quite touch the ground either. And as you exhale, start to sweep the arms down towards your hips. Good, nice. Okay, let's do three more. Inhale, reach the arms up and over the head making the top of the wings there good. And then exhale, draw it all the way back down. Nice, okay, one more. Inhale, big stretch up. Good, exhale, arms down by your hips. Good, okay, gently roll to one side. Be careful of your props. Make your way into seated. Right. Good. Go ahead and place the soles of the feet onto the earth. Wrap your arms around your shins and let your head hang in between the legs. Mm -hmm. And as we hold this pose together, we think really hard to ourselves. Thank you for this life. Thank you for this body. Thank you for each other. And thank you for this breath. Take a deep inhale here. Lift your head up, full exhalation out. And then we'll fall back into our Shavasana. Good work today. <laughs> thank you. Good work to you. Yeah, thank you. Good to have you in class. I got to work on some of the things that I felt or, or I felt but didn't, didn't know. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, my shoulder. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll call you up when your Shavasana is done. Okay.
Gently start to deepen the breath. I'm taking fuller inhalations, fuller exhalations. Start to wiggle the toes, the fingers, maybe rocking the head from side to side. Gently roll to one side of the body into a fetal position. Be careful of your props. And then gently make your way into a comfortable seated position, meeting me with your hands in Anjali Mudra prayer. Take a full inhalation all the way to the top of the lungs. Open your mouth, full exhalation out. May this practice bring us clarity. May this practice remind us to act with love. May the work that we've done this morning together be of a great benefit to ourselves and all beings everywhere. Slowly bring your thumbs to your third eye. Slowly bow forward, we bow to each other. Namaste.